Well, today, millions of Americans are dealing with the cleanup of one hurricane, and now they're bracing for another. Donald Trump's campaign says the former president is staying abreast of the news as Hurricane Milton surges across uh, closer to Florida. Vice President Harris is urging people in the storm's path to get out. Nallie Brand shares more about the politics around the natural disasters. As Hurricane Milton bears down on Florida, former President Donald Trump rallying in Scranton, Pennsylvania, again took aim at the Biden administration's response to Hurricane Helene. The worst hurricane response since Katrina. She doesn't want to have a do-over with what's happened to North Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, all the states that we just mentioned. Trump is facing criticism for spreading misinformation, including a false claim that FEMA money was used to help migrants. The Department of Homeland Security says the shelter and services program is a separate source of funding. But some Trump supporters still question the administration. I can't say that Biden and Harris never took from one bucket to put into another. FEMA has now set up a fact page to combat misinformation. Vice President Kamala Harris appeared at Wednesday's briefing with the FEMA administrator and phoned into CNN calling misinformation dangerous. It is unconscionable, frankly, that anyone who would consider themselves a leader would mislead desperate people to the point that those desperate people would not receive the aid to which they are entitled. With less than a month to Election Day, voting rights groups in Florida have filed an emergency suit to try and reopen voter registration in the state since the deadline fell on Monday in the face of back-to-back -back storms. In the battleground of North Carolina, hard hit by Helene, Elections officials have updated their rules to help the more than 1 million registered voters who live in disaster areas cast their ballots. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.